Hey folks, Quilly Dean here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Slipways, a lovely 3x space colonization game that you can play in about an hour, and in fact that's what's going to happen over here if, if this video goes about the same pace as the last one. Now, I do have a mission to, um, to get a research lab studying circuits, which I could do over here, and I think in fact I will. Um, this asteroid is going to be in the way, so I'm going to pop that. I'm going to build a new research lab over here. I don't think it really matters where I put it, as long as we're not crossing crossing streams. I'll put it over here. So it's going to research circuits. It needs some workers, which can get over here. So that has started. Um, there's new technology available as well. What I really need to do, though, is I need to get it a little bit more science. Because I have to get it to level 4 to satisfy this. Um, and it's currently just producing 1. Actually, I might not be able to. I mean, it might still be worth building, but maybe not. Because if we build another one, we're going to get diminishing returns. What I need is multiple sources of circuitry. So, can I get more circuits anywhere over here? I don't think so. I don't think any of these planet types really support that. Let me go and scan over here. You can make circuits if you get minerals, which you can get from here. I just don't know if I can get it from two different planets. There you go. It looks like I can do this. Minerals into circuits. Just to satisfy that. This needs people, which... Well, we'll try to get you that in a second. We're going to do this into this. Uh, oh, you can't currently get people. We're going to have to colonize this planet and get a worker. Now, before this place gets cranky, let's go ahead and ship that mineral. You're okay. You need people from here. You're gonna need food. Uh, um, you can get food over here. We'll need to do the range extender, though. Alright, well, let's... Kind of yoloing here a little bit. Send you there. Good. Scan. Can I get all of them? No. Can I get you some green goop? No. Hmm. I can get you goods from places. Like, robots can make goods for us. I'll go ahead and just do that. Because that's going to be a satisfied plan, which is going to be okay. Um, people into minerals, minerals into goods, which we can then dump over here. Or I can actually use the, the goods for other things, too. Let's scan a little bit first. Still hoping to do a good uh, circuitry lab. Oh, are we capped? Yeah, I can't do anything else. Um, unlocks the move. Wait, what? I can move planets? This would unlock minerals to circuitry. Oh, this could be very useful. Yeah, hold on. Let's unlock this. Because if I build a microforge right here and then I build my lab here then I can send people circuits circuits wait did I oh wait hold on undo 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 I forgot I already set this lab up uh what undo is that Still the science, so I guess that's okay. So what I want to do is set a microforge here. Confirm that I can reach. S send minerals. Send circuits. There we go. Now we're getting five science per turn from this place, which is quite a lot. And we've completed our tasks. How much time do I have? Eight years. I wonder if I can do more tasks. Uh, 
add more circuitry, which actually is a fair bit easier for us now because we can build the micro whatever, micro forges. Um, study green goop. I wonder if we've got anywhere where we've got, we've got some green goop here and biomass. Speaking of biomass, this place still needs it because it's unhappy. We are losing happiness. Um, I need more biomass to be gained over here. There's no no pretty green planets in this area, which is actually being kind of a problem. You can take workers and make water. Okay, let me make a little circle here, because this will definitely work. You'd like to unload your minerals, which you can do to either one of these two forge worlds. Minerals into goods, minerals into robots, chicken feed in here for food, which we don't really need. You can send food out there, but nothing else useful. We can pop this for money. I don't know what our next expansion plan is. Oh, we're still full on this. Move! I'm sure we can do powerful things with it. We can also increase our tech output substantially. Let's do that, which will also unlock the next tier. Like, it blocked this off, but I guess that's fine. Now we can take the tier 3 stuff, and we're getting crap tons of science per turn. Okay, oh, I can fix this planet. We can get some food over here. Now, this place can do food if we can get it robots, which we can't get this place robots, so that's no good. This place can produce food if we get biomass and robots, which we don't currently have set up. This gets food if we just have robots, which we can get from over here. All we gotta do is send people. Oh, that'll work nicely. So, robots into food. People into robots. And then we can send some people from over here, which satisfies the unemployment, gets you going. Da 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 da. Okay. And yeah, we still don't get biomass from there. Can you produce biomass? No, I think that was the problem. Even with an extended range thing, we can't get biomass here. So, we've got two cranky planets. Arg. I mean, successful and prosperous planets do get happiness bonuses, which is good. We can see if we can make more prosperous planets. Um, I can't... I, can I get robots here? I wonder if we can... First of all, this has never been scanned. Because, yeah, this place could use water, which would make it probably prosperous, but we need to get robots. I wonder if this is obstructed over here. Because if I give it the plus one range... Well, I guess I could undo, right? So, let's go um, robots into water. Let me do this. Yes, okay, good. So, we can give this a robot. And then deliver the water here. Now, we can also deliver it here, but we don't need to... Uh, yeah, see, it, it needs one more import to get there, which we could do, but it also needs to trade with three other planets that are successful or better, um, which we need goods here or here, and for this needs another source of people, which it can't currently get. Although I can export water over here, which would give us a little bit more income. Uh, you know what, we can send you here. I don't think it'll block anything too dangerous. What can we get? This can turn a science colony people into science. Rebuild of a habitat. An expedient way to get people without having to rely on a habitable planet. So we can drop up a habitat somewhere which converts food into people. Or we can just take a bunch of money. Which I think our score in the end is based heavily on money. So we'd have to send more people, which we are sending people. Can we send more peeps to this planet? No. So it's going to give us a little passive science. Which might be okay. You know, let's see how deep into the science we can get. Yeah, but if we could get more... Send more people here. 
presumably can level up. Yeah, we'd be able to get more science. But we do have six projects currently available. This one is still locked. Slip relay structure. It lets you connect planets that you cannot reach directly with slipway. Oh, that does sound incredibly useful. Nanofabrication unlocks industrialization action on planets. Use up the raw resource of this planet to turn into a forge world. Oh, this allows us to use robots as so people, I think, for science. Drilling platforms. So mineral lava ice ball planets would let us turn robots into minerals. Laboratories make more science. And microforges, which currently turn, I think, minerals into circuits, will also be able to produce either robots or goods. That actually sounds incredibly useful. Hang on, I'm very convinced. So, I mean, it's, it's just a choice. We can't do multiple things, but this gives us the ability to get goods, robots, or circuits anywhere we need it. This place needs circuits to become prosperous. Um, hold on. You need green goop, right, which is still the shortage. I'm betting we can do good things with that, but I still might want to undo for now and not commit to it. We need something that lets us uh, generate more biomass somehow. We don't have anything like that, unfortunately. Here's a place we can generate biomass, but we don't need it anywhere over here. At least not currently. I mean, this place needs biomass, but mostly it needs to export more food, which it could. If we do this, and it can also export food over here. Okay, let's do that, because this should make this become prosperous. Or successful, rather. Prosperous is the next level. Okay, so currently we don't have... Oh, no, we do have a way to get circuitry. Oh, quite conveniently. Oh. When you get a new task in the last five years, you run. The rules change a little. You can accept just a single task or decline and to do any of them. Oh! Although, you know what? You know, I'm going to accept one task to make the circuits. So we're about to make more over here. We can make even more if we could ship water. Which, water can come from this planet. We need to get more robots here. When you're done, you can do the slipway. Okay, hold on. Let me do the microforges. I can build a microforge here that takes minerals and makes robots. You can go minerals into robots, leveling you up. Now you've got some extra water, which I can send here. You want to export more circuits, which you can do there. You can also export circuits here, which will make workers. You guys are trading with each other, which is kind of nice. This place needs food. And we can get extra circuit production over here. Let's get... Um, again, this... Where else can we get food from? Over here. Which just needs robots. Although... Let's focus on increasing our circuit production. Because that should be another quest we can finish. There you go. Task complete. Discover 15 new planets, establish a, lo a lab studying the green stuff, get a forge world. I think I'm going to decline. We're not going to take any more tasks because I don't want any incomplete at the end here. We don't have a way to get minerals to these planets, which is going to hurt our happiness a fair bit going down here. We can export people for green stuff up there or export it for green stuff and water over here. Maybe I should... You know what? Hold on. We could probably take in the Discover Planets one. Oh, well. More science. We just always use robots as people? Kind of need the other way around. 
Although that would potentially enable an extra trade. But hold on, let me try this because I've never done this yet. Yeah, it did recalculate this and make this prosper. That's actually quite cool for us. Okay. I guess you can do that. Oh, there you go. There's our first actual prosperous world. I keep saying prosperous when I mean successful. But we've got a prosperous world over here. You can take robots and make water. Can you ship the water places? You can, actually. So if we do this into that... I don't think I can. Oh, may maybe I got all of them. Yeah, there was like one pixel there. You don't have a lot of output. Eh, well, some. Water and food for people, which you can trade with each other. Although this place still needs food, which you can get from here. The robots and green stuff. We can get green stuff from over there. We can get robots from over here. Do that and do that. Um, you need goods, but this place needs robots. Okay, hold on. I should pop a little bit more. So where can we get robots from? We can always make them on the fly as well. Okay, this place so far... Mm, can only get goods... Okay, can get, I think this place is going to make goods, although it needs robots to make goods. Or minerals, which we have neither. So never mind. So then the only place we can get goods from is over here, which can be minerals or robots which it's not currently going to be able to get from anywhere. Hmm. Hmm. We can build robots over here from people. Or same thing. Okay, hold on. Let's do this. We go people to robots. There we go. Empire size non-monumental, which does, um, does increase our costs from building new slips, uh, slipways. Big Empire. Successful in a sense, but also costly in others. Uh, you don't actually have anyone... Well, that's not true. I can send food to here, which gives us people. Which we can at least trade for over there. Alright, let's do that. We'll at least be satisfied. Okay, actually sending that trader didn't do anything. Maybe a little income, but it also takes a turn. You can get biomass from here, robots from here. Biomass is going to be people, which we can, we can probably do a bunch of expansion over here. It would still be nice to satisfy this. Oh, which we theoretically could. But you know what? Let's just let's just try this. Let's do this. You can get biomass from here. Oh, we're done. Score! So yes, planets, legacy. What is legacy? Oh, these are legacy points from completing tasks. Empire size is monumental. Um, I don't have any incomplete task. We've only got 69 happiness, which isn't nice, unfortunately. Did not... I needed 7,200 to get to the three stars. You can still undo the last move if you, you know, it's no good over here. Like, I don't know about you guys, but I think this is a very, 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 very lovely game. Um, you know, better if you take your time. Again, we've got four different ways that we can play here, including these ranked modes, which is quite cool. Compete for high scores so on predefined maps, but I gotta get a four-star run before that unlocks. There's a campaign at three-star. And yeah, the endless over here. No timer, no pressure. It just This is just the, the for fun mode where you just get to build forever and just make really cool, big, giant empires, which feels pretty nice, you know? No, yeah, there's no, there's no end of game over here, and presumably you can't lose from the happiness either. Um, I'm sure there's been about 30 different mistakes in this run. It's still something where it's like learning the efficiencies. I don't know all the technologies, don't know all the buildings. I've only been playing for a little while, but I think it's a really nice game and I wanted to make a couple of videos for it. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time.